glitter and gleam. Right here, you would always find us. We are Enterprise of Morning, and you're reaching us from Enterprise uh, Television right here from Lagos headquarters in Nigeria. My name is Henry Igwebiki. And I am Choma Okohe. In a bit, we'll be going to our newspaper headlines to see all that we have for you this morning. And right after that, in the GIF, it will be our main conversation also for today. So while we get everything all produced and sorted out for you, please do well to be part of our tribe. Join our community and have a say in what we say. We are at Enterprise TV News.com. And also, you may like, comment, and follow us on all our social media platforms at Enterprise TV S7. With us today in the studios to do justice to all that we have, newspaper reviews, and of course, if possible, I'm in conversation for today, Charles Idaho, a public affairs analyst and a journalist. Good morning to you, Charles. Good morning, Charles. Thank you for Thank you. Me. Thank you so very much. Yeah. We Thank truly you. do appreciate the time. And of course, we have um, our one and only uh, Barrister Tunji Abdul Hamid, a Barrister Law and Public Affairs Analyst. Good morning to you, Barrister. Good morning, Barrister. Yes, Thank you so very much. We appreciate your, your time. So let's uh, kickstart our newspaper headlines today, particularly with a very interesting story. Oh, Lori Me Tinibu unveils a one Nigeria unity fabric to be worn on Independence Day. And we have it authoritatively that the First Lady, uh, Senator Olorimi Tinibu, yesterday unveiled hashtag one Nigeria unity fabric, a symbol of national unity and a cultural diversity with a declaration that the fabric would be worn nationwide to commemorate this year's Independence Day on October 1. Uh, Charles Edoho, let's, let's look at this. Um, yesterday, I guess, we were talking about um, about 701 million naira was spent on the first ladies foreign trips abroad even when we know that our constitution does not permit her office with so many other things that she she has done when we think we've, we've had the, the worst of them all right here we have uh, our first lady unveiling fabric for uh, october 1st when nigerians are gnashing their feet in in poverty and hunger Yes. Speak to us. Okay, well, first, um, that, that office, as you have uh, rightly said, the, that office is uh, not recognized by the Constitution. Um, we, it's something that uh, we copied from, from uh, younger places, particularly America, uh, the USA. Uh, they have an office for the First Lady because the belief is that uh, when you have a president, you have a leader of a country, it does have a home home front, somebody who will live for you, but that you have to have a support base um, from that so that when this when it's leading, there's somebody who, of course, will be doing the kind of uh, pillow talk and all that and then makes the head of the person to be correct in the way we say it in mm. Nigeria. So that's exactly where it started from. But um, over the years, um, I think it was uh, Buhari that attempted to demystify that office and to give it no relevance. Uh, but that woman fought back. Um, in the beginning, Buari said that uh, his wife, the office of the wife was not recognized and said uh, the other room belongs to the mm. wife. Remember that the other yeah. room uh, uh, cliche. Mm. And that the only thing that said would be he would call her the wife of the president or not the first lady. But the woman fought back. And then he was, he was able to recruit, um, you know, media people and all that. And he fought back and fought uh, her back into reckoning. So that's why, again, before she even left in the second stanza, of the uh, the leadership uh, years of Buhari, you saw that Dilma was now referred to as the first lady. So um, somebody is coming in there. Um, I mean, what happened? You know, once you set a president's leadership, it's always difficult to kill. Hmm. So that's why when you have this woman there now, you say, okay, when people who were there uh, were called first lady, so what name should you know me by? My husband is the president and I have to be first lady. Even though the office has not uh, any constitutional requirement set in the top, uh, you know, how these things are done here. Because once we have a president, the president is, uh, I mean, his image la looks larger and is the be all and head of everybody. You can't question the president. So whatever the wife does now, um, if the president doesn't say anything against it, then nobody can say anything against it. So, yes, yeah, you said something about um, poverty in the land and all that. Uh, in leadership, what they make the, the TV, they make them watch, the newspaper, they make them read. It's not the newspaper you read. Really? The newspaper you read. Because every time what they show them to, to watch yeah. is where people are praising them. Huh. Uh, what the, the newspaper cuttings they give to them is where they said, oh, the economy is doing better. So for them at the, um, presidential villa, what you know, the reality is not what you know about it. So they're not on social media to see all that we see because there are no different yeah. Facebook is still during, selling Instagram during, for the rich and the poor. During, before the campaign, Zerubu said that he no longer watched social media mm. and he got headache and all mm, that. Yeah. Oh. He said so. So, 
uh, after that you think he started watching social media but yeah, before, before that yeah. why will they give him another different paper to read and show him the praises and not yes. the truth and the reality of Nigeria. Okay, well, that's a good question. I once, I once, I once uh, was a spokesperson of a party in Ado State. I was the Ado State Public Secretary of the African Democratic Council. So this was then I, I understand the nuances and why people, why that has to be done. Yeah. Um, there are people who do that in order to show up the image of the leader. You have to hold the ladder off for that, uh, for that leader. Because if you don't do that, your job, your job security is in question. So whether your loyalty is for him or for the people. So you have to let him know that he is being praised so that you can secure, your job can be secured. That's, is just, that's, that's, that's the best way to answer the question. Okay. All right. Yeah, um, 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 Mr. Um, Mr. Sorry for that. Um, now on social media, I want to actually read out one of the comments of a citizen of the country and I would read it. He said on X, um, Manja the hungry. And the first lady is actually in tag, saying that I should be. And he also further said, the first lady is promoting unity through fabric. Why fostering disunity and bigotry for appointments and policies? Now, it is to the citizens of the country. A fabric is not what would hold the country together and speak unity. Because the leaders are supposed to show example on the policies they make. Will you fault the citizen or stand with the citizen to say, okay, they're actually voicing the truth to the First Lady? Of course, they're speaking the truth. Because I don't even see the importance of relevance of that test, fabric. How would that fabric uh, bring a unity? How would that fabric bring peace? What is the... Uh, is, it that, is it that once we wear it every day and we see ourselves wearing that, we begin to love ourselves? <laughs> it, that's not that to love ourselves now. If you say, if you want to unite Nigeria, you, you know, like, when you are buying 1.5 billion uh, CSUV, give for Nigeria is true. Mm. Those kind of like that. When you are, when you are using a uh, 200 something million or so to do interior, inter 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 decoration for an effect, or uh, that money can even be another all, yeah. and they are using to do just decoration mm. allegedly for the first place program. If you are doing that, if you are using a uh, uh, I mean, it, I, I don't even know the cost of this one now, or how much it will cost. They, 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 they paid one of the girls that won the uh, yeah, just, just, five just, minutes. Just, take away, just, 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 just <laughs> part of it. I'm talking it. about the cost of this entire as a mm -hmm. program. Although it will come and tell you it's not our money, it's a they donation don't, don't from people, mm -hmm. and this and that, and the, uh, whatever. Even if it's a donation from people, let's even admit, uh, admit should you not spend it in a way that mm -hmm. will affect the life and the development of the country? It's a, it's a money if it's donation. Yes, you can spend it which you like. But uh, for me to see where any should be on the October 1st will be the one that bring that will bring unity. That same as will be that will be thrown out during the election. That the issue of uh, unity will be taking it, will be will take the, 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 the side seat. Then you begin to do ethnic uh, sentiment or whatever to be able to give the foot. Uh, you see, until we do the right thing, until we be, we are sincere with ourselves, we can get this this as a big project you are talking about. You just to develop somebody. That's the truth. That, that, that nobody will be given a contract. If you, if we are, if they are bold enough, let them tell us the budget. Mm. For instance, tell us how, how much has been uh, amassed and where the money uh, uh, comes from. Let them give us a due detail so that we we'll know where and who and who. I, uh, there's nothing bad about being a uh, name a uh, first lady. You can be called first lady. The only problem you see is that using Nigerian money to, 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 to fund, to, to the fund that office is why that's what the problem is. You can be called anything. You can be say you are first. Yes, there's no dispute. She's the first lady. The president has no other wife. And even if the president has other wives, they are all official. Uh, you have to have official first lady. Yeah. So, uh, if the adjective for being qualified as first lady or whatever mm. is not a problem. If, because I said, I know it's not in the constitution to say office mm. of the first lady. But what is not, what is, what is illegal and what they are doing is using our public fund, public yeah. fund to fund that office. Because there is there is news that money was budgeted for, for our travel. Mm. Oh, yeah. for, for 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 travel, which official job is he doing? I see the appointment as SA or, uh, or PA or whatever to the president. Yeah, if the president wants her to function and make money, they can even do it in a way that they can, she can be giving appointments. Mm. And through that appointment, she'll be getting money officially. Really? Nobody will question that. Mm -hmm. They have not been uh, appointed as anything. Using a, that's that's the illegality. If you have a national assembly that is functional, if you have a national assembly that is the, that knows its responsibility. The president and the, has committed a lot of uh, uh, atrocities, through, knowing directly or indirectly, through all these uh, activities. But for me, like I said, the idea of the 
clothes or whatever you call it now. Mm. The nice thing they did that fabric. I don't know how. I, I need more explanation about that. Yeah. Uh, okay. I don't know how that will help us. Do you mind? Okay. okay. So I want to yeah. add a question Please. before you. I want mm. to add a question so you could actually um, answer as one. Mm. Now she said that this project is for is aligned with the renewed hope agenda of the okay. president that is her husband mm. and it's aimed to fostering creativity support local enterprise and celebrate national identity is the national or is the fabric a means to helping nigerians and the young ones to bring out their creativity and just add that to your answer well yes um it is it, the initiative is not bad uh, in itself uh, I, I just came back from Ilorin where I had to go represent my brand over there, uh, where we're trying to attempt to create uh, a national brand identity. Yeah. And I remember telling them in the paper that I delivered that uh, uh, those who are supposed to be the influencers for our brand in Nigeria are supposed to be the leaders. Uh, by default, um, we have what I'm wearing today is called Senator, mm -hmm. okay? And it was popularized by uh, by Gulo Jonathan, mm -hmm. okay, because Nanja Data, Etivo, and all that, that's what we mm -hmm. that's what we wear. Now, he didn't have to make a proclamation mm -hmm. that everybody must wear that. Exactly. But because he was wearing it, everybody wanted to look up to him. Mm -hmm. So he became the national influencer for or our brand identity. When uh, Shagari was there in those days, the cap he's wearing now and the Babadiga, mm -hmm. it was, it was, he by default became the influencer for national brand identity. Now, if they want to bring that to bear in what uh, Timbu's wife is doing, I won't have any problem. As long as these fabrics were not imported from abroad, mm -hmm. if they were locally, locally, uh, uh, locally uh, produced mm -hmm. over here, you will use it to reflect the economy of Nigeria. But once you spend so much money and then you bring it into also now reflect some other states' economy, that's where I have a problem. But coming back to this office of the uh, first day, uh, he mentioned about uh, until we do the right thing. Now. The right thing in the use of uh, uh, presidential jets and all that. The way it's done in America, what we copy it from, is different from what, what we do here. In, in America, the president's wife, except he, she travels to the president, that's where she can fly Air Force One. Okay. If she's traveling all the road, she can't fly Air Force Two, she has to fly Air Force, Air Force Two, uh, can't fly Air Force One, she has to fly Air Force Two. Okay. And what they do is that they have to pay for it. Oh. Now, um, Enterprise TV, you journalists want to go cover a due election. And then, the, oh, sorry, you want to go, uh, the president is traveling, is traveling abroad. You, you, maybe one of you, you is dictated to follow the president. Mm -hmm. Enterprise, we pay for you to fly the Air Force One. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, TVC, Enterprise TV, Journal FM, that will send people, journalists to go cover, to follow the president. Those brands will pay for you to, to take a seat. That's exactly true that because the taxpayers' money, it's not spent anyhow over there. But once we get it, once the president is the president, the family, there was a time that uh, she, we were told that she took the, took the presidential jet to watch a uh, polo, 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 polo game, game in Kano. Kano. It's not, in America, the president, you can't even see a president, a president's son using, it's not possible for the president to, president's family to, to, to board Air Force One. If it's official, if uh, uh, it's official, if it's official, they can fly, they have to fly for two, which is meant for the vice president and all that, and other ministers and all that. That's the way it's done over there. But here in Nigeria, um, we say we copied our democracy from, from America, but what we did is we now use uh, native intelligence uh, to start running the hotel, which of course is giving us all the problem. Yeah, the office of, of the, of the um, uh, as, as Tunji has said, it's, it's not a bad idea, but do not use public fund to you know, put the office, you know, start funding is well, public money to not start funding the office when she's not contributing mm. anything to the GDP of this country. Mm. Yes, 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 please 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 please. Yes. That this uh, project or initiative that we're talking about, it's not as if uh, they are setting up a textile industry or social yeah. industry where this uh, uh, fabric could be mm. produced. It's just for them to wear. The no, but they have plans for it, and they and they, they, brought, they brought in an Indian um um an Indian um fashion person to come make it locally here in Nigeria, and the plan is where where, where, where were they India. cutting sauce? No, 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 let's let's India, say, India, where, where were they yeah, cutting? Where did they where did they source the cutting? Where did they do the yummy? 
and it's in it. Here in Nigeria, we don't have machines for that. No. Uh, those days, Aswani, when Aswani was say Diamond Textile, all those said on their papa should be calling mm. You could say that, but they are closed. Churches are taking over those, those churches. Well. So where was this cutting source from? Here in Nigeria, when you, I, I don't know where, where there's any cutting, cutting from in Nigeria anyway. Is it, is it, so in India, India, <laughs> <laughs> they see, they see, they see, they for that October 4th, and that'll be the end. Mm. The fabric that they're going to wear, it's like they're wearing a short video, but I want to do it, I want to do party. Everybody, this is the clothes we are, we are, we are, we are taking, this is the cap we are taking. That's what they want to do that day. And that will be all. And I'm those, sure those, it's colorful. And those, those clothes will not be paid for by individuals. Mm. It will be paid by, mm. by, 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 to, by to them. It will be given to them. So, and you imagine how much that those will cost, even though the, the people will come and say it's a money, it's an initiative. They yeah, don't know who and who are donating the money. Let, mm. let's, we have, we have CAC. You should be able to, Track this and mm -hmm. tell us this is this is this accountability sake and transparency. Mm -hmm. I'm to say, look to 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 say, look, I'm not using Nigerian money. I'm not using. I'm using my personal money. Oh, it was donated who by who are these yeah, donors. Yeah. Who, who, how much was it? But you see, the thing is that sorry, uh, I don't know why two you are now on the same page today. I only don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let let everybody know this. Um, in, in the respective states of the Federation Thirty Six. Mm -hmm. Um, they have, they, by default, not by default, but by, by creation, they create uh, places, I mean, offices, not actually offices that are existing physically. Mm. They create what they call um, creative offices. These people, the job is to look for, is to come up with projects. Now, um, if any government spends money, it has to spend money that has to be resisted for. Mm. So they create avenue for making money and to also helping people who help them uh, to win elections. The first lady now, as uh, Tunja said, there are people who have, who help, who help to win elections with your husband. These people have to be, uh, have to be taken care of. Mm. But you don't just give them anything from nowhere. Mm. So a project has to be created, okay, to, to justify why they have to be, uh, to be, to be spending. As, mm. as, uh, so this, as this actually now yeah. could as well be part of the project that have become, what the go they will not tell you, okay, there's a, there's, there's a road somewhere. Let's just create a road from here to, to Agrimi. But that road may not, if they may not even finish it. What it is, you start to say, no, let's just uh, eat our money and leave the other people. Yeah. So it is, it is, it's normal. It's normal within the Nigerian, uh, uh, leadership sector that to create some project. People, there are, there are people who are, who are, they are creative minds within the, within government corridors. Don't, don't say, who don't come, say who come up with them. No, I say it's normal. Yeah, well, okay, it's, well, it's normal. Well, you know, like in English, uh, it's, it's, well, it's, normal. it's normal. It's normal. It's, it's becoming a normal thing. No, you know, I mean, no, it's, it's becoming a normal thing. Hey, that's what I said. That's what I said. No, it's normal. I say it's normal. It's normal. It's normal. Amongst them, yeah. amongst them. Okay, okay. So, all right. Okay, it's, 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 all right. It's becoming a pattern. Yeah, all right. Yes. And I see in Nigeria, once you are doing the wrong thing, people copy it and then they say. And then people, and then you see, you hear yeah, people say. Uh, when they were there, they don't do this. What did they do? Mm. They, 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 look, uh, Does it make it right? Okay. Well, All right. So, um, of, of course, uh, we, we can't say this enough. Um, the, the German uh, Chancellor, Olav um, uh, Scholz, uh, you know, uh, goes along with um, wherever he goes to with uh, Mercedes Benz. The President of America, Joe Biden, goes around with um, Escalade. Unfortunately, we have a President of Nigeria who equally would proudly go along wherever he wants to go to with yeah, an escalate to to uh, of, of course uh, there's nothing wrong in it you know because that is the patriotism we're actually is, talking uh, about no, yeah. you know i sorry sorry for me yes. i mentioned something about uh, national brand identity mm. now in the gov during the government of um, government there was a deadly government policy to nationalize some of these things what did they do they asked they asked Pujo, if you want us to patronize you bring your plant here they, bring, they brought the plant to, to to uh, uh, Kaduna, those fighting between of uh, the, uh, Germany. If one of those presidents you, bring it, they brought it to, to Lagos. Say, what they did was that they made it a compulsory policy for all government officials Beautiful. to drive those yes. cars. During the and military dictatorship, exactly. they made it compulsory. And, 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 and the president was not dying at that time. No, no, no exactly. It's such a if, if you have a yeah. national brand identity. Mm. Do you imagine, uh, okay, the Nigeria, we're talking about Nigerian leader. Mm. Do you, do you mind what you can do to us if Tunubu will openly say, I'm wearing Nigerian shoes? Mm. That team will immediately create a flood of activities within that an avalanche. Mm. Are you following yeah. what I'm saying? So, if for instance we say, okay, um, Toyota, 
we have we don't have a problem with your car. But if our president to drive, it has to be brought in here. We don't want anything. Whether they don't supposed to bring any CKD, the community down 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 park. Bring your plants here. We want a truly that's about eighty percent Nigerian made car. Mm. If you do that, I'm telling you. All this thing you give our national brand, all of it. but again, what escalate is not a young day, of course. But as I said, we, mm. when you know, see came up, it was during um, uh, what who, who was the president who was the head of state that uh, the DIA was was vice to it's all about yes. So, about this time, I remember when the government went there, it was um, um, uh, already the well, day that I went there to confirm the thing, and they were all laughing on, on NTA. And the car was too ugly, was heavy. But again, the India, India to it, it can produce trash sheets. It took it took the it took what might be called Narasimha Rao, who was a trade minister. As at that time, India could not own a company. All right, if you were to own a company in India, your file we passed we passed through about seventy five seventy five desk. Mm. Each of them were setting them. But the one said no. What he did when he became prime minister, he, he said no. Everything liberalized so that people Indian could own business. That's why today Indian own business and all that. And he made it compulsory for Indian. And it was there are banks that were even giving loans to people to open business and all that. It takes a policy of government of somebody to change the whole narrative. Not only policy. That's it. You know, the leader to, to 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 lead by example. When you bring policy, because they have been saying it. Patronize local content. Patronize but you are not, 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 the president will say, <laughs> patronize local content. And the president will go abroad to go and make sense. <laughs> patronize okay. local content. They will go there and buy slippers. Mm. And then you will come back to Nigeria and say, I patronize uh, local content. We cannot, you cannot lead by just policy on paper. You must lead by example. If you, imagine if the pre president decided to do his, uh, what's it called? Holiday in uh, somewhere in maybe, maybe, maybe in Abia yeah, State or even uh, in Calabar, wherever Calabar, yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Imagine the, the development of mm. yeah, exactly. yeah. very, very true. So, the Indian mentioned now, you know, people yeah. are lying to rest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, you, 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 sorry, the, you mentioned India, uh, yeah. it's yeah. talking about national identity. India, as we have today, India, we, they deliberately use their accent to teach English. Mm. What I mean by that is deliberate. Mm. Indians will say, okay, your technology, I like your technology. But I won't answer your name. Have you ever seen Indian called John? Mm -mm. Or, 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 or Celestina? Or, or, or Rose? No. You see, I said, this I want to talk about, about national identity. You talk about policy. Indian deliberately teach what they call the in wa, wa. It's not wa, it's wa. Mm -hmm. And it's deliberate. We like your, 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 your technology, which was brought over by, by, by the uh, British. We like, but we don't leave us our religion. Mm -hmm. India has, India has over 300 million gods. True. If this god is not serving you, change it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's why I have made a deliberate effort mm. to say, look, I'm a relation. I'm a boy from Milan. Yes. That, that, true that, Nigerian. True Nigerian. True Nigerian. Yeah, look, of course. I won't, I won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, um, uh, well, of course, for the want of time, let's just look at just one more uh, newspaper, The Guardian, of course. And uh, the big story here says, World the Patient Safety Day. Nigeria battles a spike in medical errors, negligence in hospitals okay moving on still on the guardian newspaper court rejects lagos ages move to stop 1.35 billionaire fraud case okay on the bottom strip of the same newspaper clark allowed um lots of dangote or just support for local refining Nigeria on flood alerts as Cameroon's Lado Dam releases water. All right. Um, a panic in Abuja over vibrations for multiple earth tremor. Okay. LASG 6 accountability says misdiagnosis costs patients 40% more. That is coming from um, the, pre the governor of Lagos State. That's, um, and it's the details of that particular story are on page seven. All right, well, let's get into this particular story just before we drop our anchor for today. Um, Nigeria battles spike in medical errors and negligence in hospitals. Now, um, data that, that, that we have right now says in less than two years, Nigeria has lost over 50,000 of its medical practitioners. Mm -hmm. We're talking about just a minute of them. There are lots of other people that are living in droves. Why would you think we would not have such crisis when the, the amount of brain drain is there's so much yeah. in the country. Okay, in the case in point, um, there's a particular patient that was, um, they administered chemotherapy and missing all manner of things uh, for uh, uh, suspecting that she, or he or she was a cancer, a cancer patient, only for, after doing all those things, they realized that she had no cancer. Hmm. 
what's the case, what's, what's the point in the, the case in point because of inexperience. Now, to train, do you know what it means to have a, 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 a qualified medical doctor? It's not just one year. Somebody who just left uh, University of Illinois, for instance, after service, you just made the person a consultant. It doesn't work that way. You have to work your way up the ladder of, 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 of the profession to get to a particular point where you can be respected, where somebody can say, okay, you're going to be. Do you know what it means for you to? To, 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 to take somebody to the theater, open the person up and then sort them back. It's not something mm. that you give to anybody who has no experience to do that. But that's what's happening because brain drain has taken almost all the good hands out of this country. So, um, people will have to, they will need Medicare. They will need all these things. What do you do? People can go abroad to go seek medical help and all that. They make you make do with what you have there. And the people you need that are inexperienced, mm. the doctors and all that. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, but I, I lost, I lost, um, wife, wife of one of my nieces last year, uh, because of this error. What happened? She, 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 she was going to put to bed. They said they were going to do CS. They actually did CS and forgot, uh, I forgot whether six us in her system. First of all, they, they, okay, not, they didn't forget that. What they did was that they, when they sutured, and they, 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 I think that's what they do. When they sutured, when they sold the whole thing back, they sold intestine with the body. Ooh. And the thing became a problem and the lady died. Because of inexperience. You understand? They opened her up and sold, sold the, the body with intestine. If it were a qualified surgeon, you wouldn't, you wouldn't do that because years of experience would have told you what to do because it's something you have done over and over and over again and becomes second nature to you. But here was a young man, a young lady who, of course, because they had no, nobody who is qualified enough to do that, but they had to do it because to save the lady's, lady's life. So if she has to give back to CS. So the CS gave, and she actually delivers, uh, I mean, they delivered her, uh, uh, successfully. But to now get the lady back, uh, to, to, to nurse her to mm-hmm. head, they now, they now cause so death to her. Mm-hmm. So it's something that is worrisome. Mm-hmm. But how do we, how do we retain people here? Is when the environment is ripe. The environment is not ripe. It's not right. So that's why people are going to where okay. the grasses are greener. Thank yeah. you, Charles. Mm-hmm. Um, Barsetra Abdelamil, it is no longer news that um, the government and some of the policies are actually playing a role in the brain drain we have in the country. And um, the health sector is being overlooked by the government. How best can they bring up policies to actually change the narrative and help to sustain and keep the best Hands in Nigeria. No, 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 the, all, all sectors have been overlooked, not, not only a sector. Mm. I mean, we are saying that because the, almost all the sectors have been overlooked. The government is not concerned about those sectors. And that is why you see them spend uh, billions and billions of naira to renovate out or to uh, billions of naira to renovate rather than uh, uh, improve our health uh, facility or independent facility. You know, some of this money we are spending today that say to say renovation of car park. Uh, innovation of uh, this and that, uh, buying the private data, whatever, can actually fix our, our, our education and uh, etc. You can imagine the uh, cost of that uh, private personal gate. Imagine spreading them across and do uh, uh, one or two etc. Et across the geopolitical zones. Let's, mm. let's even limit to that mm. one, one per, per, per local. So, or let's even go to one uh, each community exactly. and the functional, whatever. Our, how much is ASU asking for? ASU to 400 since, billion. Since 2020, 2009. Mm-hmm. How much are they asking for? That cannot be provided by the government. If that money is for election, that money will have come out. Mm-hmm. So, because, so it's priority of the government. Until we have priority on all these aspects, that is the only thing that we want. So the answer or solution is for us to have people in government who has priority. Mm-hmm. The people who have priority. For all these things that we are talking about, the for education, for our aid, for service to humanity, not people who want to capture states, mm. not people who are only prepared to become president or governor, but people who prepare to become to, to govern uh, and until we have them, and they are ready to sacrifice <coughs> and they, and say, look, I am ready to sacrifice my comfort, and this is what uh, I will do. This is what I will do mm. because I, if the president cannot sacrifice his comfort, well, what morality? We better have to say, I should just be patient. No uh, and let's not uh, forget the president. We saw him left um, St. Mary's Hospital in the UK, uh, where, of no, course, he went to, he has to do whatever, whatever he wanted to do. Mm. To patronize a local context. Mm. You cannot say so because you don't have the moral ground to do that. Because you give yourself the best. We are all Nigeria. Mm. These people we are talking about, some of them don't have any 
specific job that gave them the money they have today. Yeah. They, they is through our system, through yeah. our economy. So if they have the benefit of opportunity or privilege of making money from the country, they should be able to use that money to. I don't even know what I stand up sometimes. Some of these people carry money that they don't even need. Mm. They gather this money that they don't need. Some of them, I, with due respect, I even hear some of them want to continue perpetually in office and they, even though, I don't know, I hear one of our respected uh, economic uh, leader, if she wants to contest the contest election after 70 years of age. Mm. Well, I'm saying, let me go and rest and relax and do some things and then mm. affect people and then uh, put people in. You still want to go and continue. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. for me, we need deliberate efforts. Yeah. We need people who are sincere, who are truly interested in the welfare of the people. Not people who are only there to say, I want to be in charge. I am the Alpha and Omega. I am the commander in chief, or I am the second in command of God. That's what people are trying to do now. They want to be the, the say anything. These people, it's, it's not all about money. All these people are, you think they say, they, they are not, most of them are not looking for money. What they are looking for is that power to say, I'm the one that says this and nobody will challenge this. That's why you see when people who are with them who only want to tell them what they want to wear. Mm. And that thing that we said the other time that they don't need paper or whatever, mm. it's like they and this the first day here now. <laughs> or say something bad about him, tomorrow they'll pick him. Mm. And they will she will tell you everything you say. <laughs> so it's not as if they, 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 they only show them what they want to. They only look at or take care of what they want to, what the news they believe favors them. They see all the news by themselves. The what they did also is also on social media. They, 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 even the person that says it's not on social media, he, he sees everything. He will tell you. He will not see. Oh, 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 he's going to well, tell him that he. Yeah, very true. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you say that don't even look at. He's going to tell you, him. You, 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 that's what you are saying. <laughs> you said the person don't even concern about what's going on in the news or whatever. You said that the person don't even know what is happening. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. At this point, we just have to ask him to call it a wrap. I want to say very big thank you to you, Barista Tanger Bilami. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Charles Idero. Thank, thank you for joining us and thank you for Appreciate making it an uh, interesting one this morning. Yes. Thank you. Truly really do you. appreciate your time. Mm -hmm. All right. And when we return, Nigeria is in worse condition today than it ever was under military rule. That's according to former Transportation Minister Rotimi Amechi. Let's talk about that very shortly. Just stay tuned. Mm -hmm.